Now, forewarn weather with exclusive cutting edge technology to help keep you and your family safe. Why not talk weather on a day like this where we're just keep, what do we, what day is today? The 24th? What are we at? Yeah, 25th? 24th. No, 24th. 24th. Yeah. Man, and we're just, we're just hanging on strong to some of these nice temperatures. I mean, if we're complaining about a cool down and it's a cool down to seasonal conditions, that's not a whole lot to be mad about, right? <laughs> right. We're not like complaining about an afternoon in the 30s. So yeah, I mean, this is not too bad. I mean, certainly we had to layer up a little more today compared to the last few, but even this cooler, more seasonal stretch, is somewhat short lived as we have a warm up ahead. Here's a beautiful look at the Detroit River from our Windsor Sky Cam. You see a few thin high clouds up there, but mostly blue skies and pretty calm conditions all in all. Not as windy as yesterday. We're talking just a light variable breeze out there. We sit in the low to mid 50s across the area, which is a cool down from yesterday by about 10 degrees at this point. But we should be in the upper 50s this time of year. That's where we top out this afternoon. We're getting the sunshine with it, so that always helps. And then we will be in the 70s again before you know it. But tonight first we fall to 41. Partly cloudy, so we're on the cooler side, but seasonally cool and winds are still fairly light for tomorrow. We might be just a smidge warmer, but it does come with some rain chances. So we'll have some morning showers roll through. A lot of this is out of here throughout the afternoon, so not an all day washout and still times out really well for high school football. Let's give you an hour by hour look at what we're tracking for Friday. Starting the clock at midnight tonight, you can see that we're starting to see a little bit of cloud cover build at that point. And then as we head into tomorrow morning, that rain probably arrives after daybreak. So West Siders, I mean, far Western communities out towards Howell, Ann Arbor, maybe as early as eight, but I've stopped the clock at nine. That's where it's starting to cross into Western Wayne County, Oakland County, up towards Lapeer Sandusky. These will be scattered light showers throughout the morning, so kind of off and on. But then by the time we get to the lunch hour, you might have a little bit of remnant moisture, but a lot of that will be out of here by about two o'clock in the afternoon. And then we're going to see a few breaks in the clouds, but we're not going to have complete clearing until we head really throughout the overnight and that'll tee us up for a sunnier weekend. So your local four game of the week, you can watch it from your couch on local four plus, or if you're heading out to a high school football game, you'll have a very similar forecast across southeastern Michigan. We're drying out before the game, seven o'clock kickoff about 58 degrees and we'll have clearing probably low 50s by game's end. Now for the Michigan State versus Michigan game, it's a night game at the big house. So for tailgating in the afternoon, upper 50s, that'll be the high temperature for the day. So pretty cool tailgate but 52 degrees for that kickoff with a few clouds and then we'll just be downright cold by the end of the game as we do fall into the 40s. Speaking of 40s, we have a one o'clock kickoff at Ford Field on Sunday for the Lions, so that means we'll be in the 40s for tailgating. But as you're walking in and out of Ford Field that day, we'll be in the 50s and we'll have some sunshine. So still looking at jacket weather. Now, I don't know if you're necessarily going to need the jacket for Halloween. Can you believe it? That never happens around Metro Detroit, but looking like it could be a little bit of a trick and a treat. 70 degree temperatures right now for Halloween, but there could be a chance for a few scattered showers. We'll be fine tuning that as we get closer to that since we're a week out. Otherwise, those 70s appear even before Halloween. 73 for Tuesday and Wednesday next week, but it will be paired with breezy conditions. There's the warm up for you.